a rainbow to color my day, light up my way. garden. Thanks, Marianne. I, I hear that a garden is a thing of beauty and a job forever. <laughs> a job forever. Where did you get that awful life? In the weirdest digest. <laughs> no. Well, because someone else does the job here, this garden is for us a thing of beauty and a joy forever. Who's coming to visit us today? Well, my fine feathered friend Duffer the Duck and Jot will be here too. On the dot? On the dot. And what about Clifford? Well, he'll be here to trick us as usual and with other surprises. All right. Let's ride the rainbow for a half hour of music and fun. And now it's fun to be fooled by Clifford. Hello, Marianne. How are you today? Are you all well? Yes. Good. When I count three, will you all blow in this direction, please? One, two, three. Oh, that's lovely. It's very hot under the lights here, isn't it? Good. This week, I saw a magician who did a very strange trick. If you have two short ropes, how many ends do you have? Four. You take four ends to the ropes. One, two, three, four. And I found that with a long rope, you only have two ends. Is that right? Yes. Well, that was the trick that he did, and I think I've invented a better one. Would you like to see the better one? Yes. All right. Rope number one. If you wonder where the yellow went, now you know. Rope number two to match Marianne's complexion. And number three to match her eyes. Isn't oh, that lovely? Just rude. You could climb in there and have a look around. <laughs> Yeah, there's nothing there. Nothing there. All right. You take the magic wand. Okay. I take rope number one, rope number two, and rope number three, and they will now join themselves magically. Wave the wand over the bag. Wave Ready? The wand. Yeah, right. Now I take the magic. <laughs> was a very nice thing to do with my magic wand, wasn't it? And you find that the three ropes have now magically joined them. <laughs> That's not, the, that's not the way they're supposed to join together. Can't you get anything right? <laughs> dear, oh dear, you're a mess of Marianne. No, I'm not. Well, look, we've got a, a green one. Mm -hmm. I'll tie together the red and the yellow one. All mm -hmm. set? Mm -hmm. And we've got, uh, what have we got? A green one. I'll drop the red one and I'll tie together the green and the yellow one. Okay. Now, we have the green one tied to the yellow one, tied to the red one. Now, if you take hold of that magic wand and wave it over the top, ready? One, two, three. Good. <laughs> we will 
find that it a don't. <laughs> we will find that the three of the ropes now are joined together. And look, they really are joined together. There How about go. that magically? Now, the big trick is to get them separated again. So we place them in there. Ready? Use the magic wand. Mm -hmm. Oh! <laughs> what on earth are you doing? <laughs> It, I? You wave a magic wand, you don't oh, throw down yeah. the thing. <laughs> and then the three ropes come up, come up, come up. Oh, <clears throat> very clever. Just next week, remember not to turn up. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Bye bye. him all away. Lord came down, looked around a spell. There was Mr. Noah behaving mighty well. That's the reason that scripture records that Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord and he landed high and dry. Well, the Lord said, Noah, gonna be a flood. Gonna be some water, Noah, gonna be some mud. So take off your hat, Noah, take off your coat. You can have Shem and Japheth and build yourself a boat. Noah said, Lord, I don't believe I could. Lord said, Noah, get some sturdy gopher wood. Never know what you can do till you try. Build it 50 cubits wide and 30 cubits high. Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord, and he landed high and dry. Well, Noah said, there she is, there she is, Lord. Lord said, Noah, time to get aboard. Take a creature, a he and a she, and take Mrs. Noah and the whole family. Noah said, Lord, it's in my dark. Lord said, Noah, get the creatures in the ark. Noah said, Lord, it's beginning to pour. Hurry up, Lord, shut the door. Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord, and he landed high and dry. Well, the ark rose up on the bosom of the deep. After 40 days, Mr. Noah took a peep. Said, we ain't moving, Lord, where we at? Lord said, you're sitting right on Mount Arara. Noah said, Lord, it's getting mighty dry. Lord said, Noah, see my rainbow in the sky? Take all these people and creatures to earth and don't be more trouble than your word. Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord, Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord and he landed high and dry. Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. No found grace in the eyes of the Lord, and he landed high and dry, and he landed high and dry. could wish you joy and peace to last a whole life long. I could wish you sunshine or a cheerful little song. Or wish you all the happiness that this life could bring. But I wish you Jesus. But I wish you Jesus Cause when I wish you Jesus I've wished you everything Hey, here's my new bandana. That's a handkerchief. Well, that's what a bandana is. A bandana is a spotted handkerchief. Do you you know what handkerchiefs are good for? Blowing your nose. Yes. <laughs> 
and also for waving goodbye. Would you like to use that? That's, that's a magician's bandana. Wave it over my hand. That's oh. right, you wave goodbye to the red handkerchiefs. <laughs> well, now, we're not doing the tricks today. Oh? No, the tricks are being done by Rags and Flossie. Okay. Hello, boys and girls. I'm Flossie and I'm cute. Does anybody know what a bandana is? You don't? Well, a bandana is what the cowboys used to wear around their neck because it looks so cute. Now, I'm going to show you a trick before Rags comes out. Now, open up the bandana. Hello, Flossie. Hello, Rags. What are you doing? I'm coming to see what you're doing. Well, I'm going to show the boys and girls a trick. Oh, I'll show them one too. Can I show them the same one? Rags, you don't know this trick. Well, you can teach me. Well, all right, but listen, you've got to do exactly what I say. All right. Right, now go over to that box and get, my, get yourself a bandana. A what? A bandana. In the box? In the box. Now, boys and girls. Is there one in there? Yes, Rags, I've put a whole bunch in there before. <laughs> now, this is what a bandana is, boys and girls. Now, are you ready, Rags? Come yeah, on. i got one. Right, now, boys and girls, Rags, before you do anything, you've got to open up your bandana and show the boys and girls. <laughs> you right? Have you opened up your bandana and show I'm the I'm opening girls? it up, Fossie. Now. <laughs> now, what you've got to do is place it on your hand like a tablecloth. Have you done that, Rags? <laughs> have you done it? I think I have, yeah. Oh, it's still a little bit big. How about we fold the bandana in half again? <laughs> Fold it in half. Fold it in half, Rags. And place it on your hand like that. <laughs> Have you done that, Rags? Yes. Good. Oh, it's still a little bit big. How about we fold the bandana in half again? <laughs> <laughs> and place it on your hand. <laughs> Just like that. Now, have you done that, Rags? I'm still trying to fold it. Come on, Rags. The boys and girls are waiting now. Have you done that, Rags? Yes, Fluff. Now, oh, it's still a little bit, but how about we fold the corners in, Rags? Fold the... Fold the what? Fold the corners in. Fold the... Where now, are the corners? <laughs> come on, Rags. Fold the corners. Now, be a good boy. Have you done that, Rags? Have I'm you still done trying it? to find the corners. Now, Rags. Now, you're going to do exactly what I say now. You've got to close your fist. <laughs> the empty one. No, one well, with the bandana in it, Rags. Uh, just, just gentle? No, you've got to... Hard, Rags. Uh. <laughs> Have you done that, Rags? Uh. Yes. Now, Rags, what you've got to do now is you've got to fold it real tight and it's all oozing out. <laughs> now, Rags, now this is where the magic begins, boys and girls. We've it's got all to oozing it out. Our pocket. Are you listening, Rags? I'm listening. Now, what we got to do is stick it in our pocket. <laughs> Have you done that, Rags? In our pocket? In your pocket, Rags. Any pocket. Any pocket. Any pocket. Ah. Uh. Have you done yours, Rags? <laughs> Come on, the boys and girls are waiting for our trick. Now, boys and girls, what Hang we've got to do, the magic word is one, two, shoot through. Can Hang you on. That, Rags? I'm just getting it in my pocket. <laughs> You're getting it in your pocket? Come on, Rags, the boys and girls are waiting. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Rags. It's in, Fluffy. Rags? What's that? That's my hand. You want a lick? <laughs> you can't do magic with dirty hands. I only did what you said. What do we do next? Now, Rags, please. Now, what I want you to do... You want to lick? <laughs> Rags, when you behave yourself, I want you to concentrate now. I want you to go one, two, shoot through. Can you do that, Rags? I think I can. All right. All right. <laughs> what are you doing? Trying to get comfortable. <laughs> Come on, Rags. One, two... two. Shoot through. <laughs> no, Rags, you've got to hit it hard. One, two, shoot through. I'll try. Okay. One, two, two. shoot through. <laughs> no, Rags, I'll show you. One, two, shoot through. Rags, I swear. Rags, I swear there's still something in your... Boys and girls, I put mine 
maybe put his in his pocket, but I don't think something's gone wrong with it somehow. <laughs> but I'll show you where. Mine's disappeared, boys and girls. Mine's gone. Now, Rags. Has mine gone too? I hope so. How about you show the boys and girls your bed there? Has it disappeared? I think so. <laughs> What's the matter, Rags? I don't think it's disappeared. <laughs> And I rolled it and folded it and doubled it and everything. Man, you're silly. You've been the trick again. Get out of me. Go on, get them, get, get them, get them. In the Bible, the Lord who knows and understands people so well compares us to sheep. Why are we like sheep? No other animal is as helpless when left on its own. A sheep needs the constant care of the shepherd. No other animal becomes so hopelessly lost. Cats and dogs find their way home even if they have to travel a great distance in miles, but a sheep has no sense of direction. When a sheep is lost, it is lost until the shepherd finds it. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd even gives up his life for his sheep. His sheep know his voice. It's a loving voice. His sheep like to hear it and gladly follow him. Jesus, the good shepherd, calls us away from evil and into a new life with God. It's a life under his personal care. salesman today. What did you sell? Oh, toys, books, records, all kinds of junk. Nine dollars and 85 cents. Gee, I'm going home to see what I can sell.
lot of money, Jot. Where did you boys get it? We earned it, Mother. What did you do? We sold things. Old things. What old things, dear? Oh, uh, some old books I didn't want. And, and some old toys. Yes, and that old record player in the garage. Jot, that phonograph belonged to your great-grandfather. But it didn't work. That's true, but it could be repaired. But I thought it was just junk. Oh, Jot. What else did you boys sell? We just sold old things. You didn't ask much for a broken clock, did you? But it was a good deal, Mother. It was a pretty clock. Besides, Mrs. Putter didn't know it doesn't work. Now, just a minute, fellas. I really admire you two for wanting to earn your own money. But there is a principle involved here which has to do with every business. Even selling old things? It's probably in the Bible. You mean God even tells us how to run a business? That's right. Listen. The Lord requires fairness in every business deal. He established this principle. But we work fair, Mother. Aren't you supposed to get the most you can out of anything? Not if someone doesn't know the truth about what they're buying. Mrs. Putter should know that the clock doesn't work. Then if she wants to pay what you ask for it, that's fine. But you must not let her think something that isn't true. I see what you mean. And we should have asked you about the phonograph. That's right, Tad. It was not yours or Jot's to sell. It belonged to my grandfather, and that made it very special to me. You know, some things money cannot buy or replace. Like me? <laughs> oh, yes, dear. <laughs> You know, one of my favorite Bible verses says, a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. Your names are at stake when you don't conduct your business fairly. That's right. Mrs. Putter will think we cheated her. Chot, we'd better give some refunds in our business. Right, Tat. Let's start with the phonograph. Yeah. Then we can go to Mrs. Putter's house. Now, you sold most things, too. No, Pick. We needed to give some refunds. Sometimes good for business, you know. And Pick, before you sell anything, there are a few, um, uh, business principles you'll need to know. There are? We'll be back in a minute to tell you all about them, okay? Thanks, fellas. I'll be waiting. Who's there? A wooden shoe. A wooden shoe who? A wooden shoe like to know. <laughs> what I'd like to know is who's on the show next week. Well, there's one way to find out. Be here at the same time next week. All right. Time to go? Time to go. Thanks, Jot. Thanks, Duffer. Thanks, Clifford. And thank you for joining us and making the show worthwhile. See you next week.
Thank you.